What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. Hope you guys are doing good and doing a lot better than my copper band butterfly right there. Poor fish just didn't make it. Uh, I don't know if it was eating at the LFS, but for sure it probably wasn't even eating at uh, my house at the 150 gallon reef tank. So poor fish, I uh, really like this fish a lot. Um, it was swimming around, it was just out in the open right away. It wasn't hiding when I first got it. It was swimming in the front of the tank, up on the top of the tank. It's an awesome fish. I do think this is one of the harder fish to probably keep. Um, I just didn't have any luck with it. I would like to try it again, but as you can see, it got caught up in the anemone. At first I thought the anemone stung it and just started to eat it up, but the wife said that it actually was tilted over when I was at work and it floated into the anemone and the anemone obviously got it. So I don't know what you guys think. I am going to go ahead and try to pull the fish out. Um, I don't think the anemone can actually eat this uh, copper band at all. Usually uh, I feed the, the anemone's uh, krill, but I haven't been feeding them at all lately. And uh, you can see that my uh, black oscillaris clownfish right there is wondering what's going on. It's pretty amazing that the uh, clownfish can hang out in the anemone. And uh, other fish, if they get in there, will actually die. But I just wanted to give you an update on this uh copper band uh, really sad that it happened um but the anemone is actually taking advantage of it and eating it i did actually try to pull them out with uh, the tongs that i have but um i wasn't able to do that now the next day the anemone to my surprise I ate it all all it ate all the copper band except for the head it spit the head right out 